can't believe I won a trophy for being the smartest kid in school. Hey, that's not fair. I won a trophy. Give me that. What the? Chad, give me that back. No way. I want the shiny gold trophy. It's... Ah! Oh, I broke it. Ah, it was a cheap thing anyway. Uh, Chad, look at what you've done. It's not my fault. You just broke my trophy. So what? <laughs> Mom. Oh my gosh, Chad, honey, what's wrong? Noah pushed me and then he got so mad that he broke his trophy. What? That's not true at all. <gasps> what? Noah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Boys, get in the car. We're causing a scene. Chad is so spoiled, Mom. You need to stop babying him so much. Noah, I am your mother. You cannot tell me what to do. Honestly, Noah, you're just jealous because I get cool things and you Life's don't. not about things, Chad. Yeah, boring lies aren't about things, Noah. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. What is this, Mom? Is that a trophy for me? Yes, of course it is, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, it's so big and shiny and not broken like Noah's. Oh, but I, I kind of wish it was a different type of metal though honestly but honey look it says number one son on it oh maybe we can get you another one you can't be serious this is just ruining my whole day now okay i'm just gonna go to my room oh great now chad's day is ruined chad stays ruined mom you were gonna hijack my day you know it's okay to share with your little brother i earned that trophy chad didn't do anything to earn this you need to stop spoiling him so much can't you see see what noah you know when he was younger we almost lost him. He needed special care for the illness he had. Yeah, well, he isn't sick anymore. Now he's just a jerk and you turned him into this. Well, I'm getting sick of your attitude, young man. Go outside and mow the lawn. Mom, it's nighttime. And I don't want to hear your excuses either. Now go. My brother has to be the most spoiled person on the planet. Now I have to mow the lawn? Why do I have to do this? This is his chore. Noah, Noah! I tried downloading a brand new video game and your computer totally crashed. It sucked. Chad, I had all of my school work on there. It doesn't matter. Mom will buy you another one anyway. No, she won't, Chad. She doesn't treat me like you. She doesn't just buy me whatever I want. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're just a spoiled brat all the time. What? I'm not a spoiled brat. Brat, I just deserve more stuff because I'm better than you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You're nothing but a stupid nerd who only cares about school. I'm going to be a doctor someday, and I'm going to save people. Yeah, right. You're a loser, and you're not going to amount to anything. Uh. Hey, don't push me. What? What are you going to do? Cry about it? Uh. Chad, I'm telling you to stop. Whoa, the nerd's going to get me to stop? I said stop oh. it. Noah Matthew Henderson. I cannot believe you. Mm. <laughs> oh, my poor little Chad. Are you okay, honey? No, my face hurts. Noah, you are grounded. What has gotten into you? Come on, Chad, let's go inside. Oh, Mom, this sucks. Yo, Noah. Hey, what's up, Logan? What's going on, dude? Man, I'm in a whole lot of trouble, Logan. I don't have any of my school assignments for today. Oh, what? Dude, that's crazy. Don't you got, like, perfect grades? Yeah, and I don't want to mess that up. That's why I'm freaking out, dude. I couldn't recover any of my files last night. Oh, uh, dude, I hope this doesn't affect your chances of getting into that mentorship high school program. I know, I hope not either. I really want to be mentored by a doctor. This could be my best chance to get my foot in the door. Oh, this place sucks. Oh, great. Here we go. Uh, hey, Chad, what's going on, dude? Shut up, Logan. What is wrong with you? Everything. I didn't do any homework this year. So I stole some of yours, and the teacher said I was cheating. You did what? Yeah, and it's all your fault, Noah. How is this even my fault? And you know you can't steal my stuff. Uh, whatever. I told them you gave it to me anyway. You did what? They were your answers anyway. I wasn't going to get in trouble for this. This is so you, Chad. You need to take accountability for your own action. Noah Henderson to the principal's office, please. Take a seat, Noah. Principal Plumsley, what is this all about? This is about me being extremely disappointed with you. Letting your little brother cheat his way through school. Look, sir, I had no idea he was doing that. Trust me. My brother is so spoiled. He doesn't take any accountability for his actions. Well, it's your word against your brother's. But who am I supposed to believe? You should believe me, sir. 
You always do so good in school. I can't believe you're sitting here in my office. Look, I just don't really know what to do here. This is a very serious issue, Noah. We can't have people cheating their way through school. I know, sir. But please, you have to believe me. You're probably going to be the valedictorian of the school, and uh, I don't want to ruin your academic chances with a suspension. You know what? You've got detention for a week. And this won't go on your permanent record. I can't believe my brother is doing this to me. But I appreciate you going easy on me. I didn't want to ruin my chances of getting into that mentorship program. I know how hard you've been working for it. Just take the week long detention and everything will be fine. Keep your head above water and don't let your brother get to you. You've got it, sir. Thank you. What do you think about this one? Oh, uh, no. What's over there? I can't believe I'm at the computer store buying Chad a new computer. I still haven't even bought my own one yet. Noah, will you quit sulking around? You're starting to bring down the mood. I shouldn't even be here. Why didn't you just drop me off at home? Because I picked you boys up from school, and this is where your brother wanted to go. Oh, Mom, this place is terrible. They don't have any of the PCs that I want. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Yeah, well, you should be. I need a manager. Hello? Come on, man. Uh, hi, hi. I'm the manager. Can I help you? This place sucks. I hate all of your PCs. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I want to PCs for the price of one. Yeah, fine, whatever. Just, just stop screaming, dude. Oh, shut up and go get them. What is this guy's problem? Wow, two PCs, Chad? You giving me one of those? What? No, I'm keeping them both. You don't gotta have any. Are you joking me right now? No way, you'll probably just break them again. I still can't believe you broke your computer, Noah. I bought that for your schoolwork. I told you that wasn't me, that was him. This again. You know what, Noah? If you don't want to be here, then you can walk home. Walk home? Now just start walking. We'll see you when we get home. Hey, man, thanks for letting me come over and hang out tonight. Oh, yeah, no sweat. It's the least I could do, man. I've been wanting to hang out with you. I need a quiet place to study, far away from my annoying brother. Things haven't gotten any better with him, huh? Well, you know, Chad, he keeps getting his way. I just can't even focus when I'm at home anymore. Yeah, I know, dude. And we have that entrance exam for the medical mentorship program tomorrow. I'm really stressed out about it. Yeah, I am too. With all the chaos at the house, I can't even think straight. I almost got an A minus the other day because of this. An A minus, Logan. I'm not an A minus kind of guy. Dude, you got an A minus? Whoa. I know, I don't even want to talk about it, but hopefully my brother will just grow up and change and things will start getting better. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Your mom babies him a lot, right? Yeah, too much. Maybe the best thing for me is move away. Whoa, what was that? What the heck? Chad, what did you do? I took mom's car to go out for a spin. I thought it'd be really cool. Oh, you are unbelievable. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I'm just mad. I'm totally, totally fine. Chad? Oh. Chad! No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm going to call an ambulance. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's going to be fine. What's not good is what's gotten into you, young man. How could you let your brother do this? How could this be my fault, Mom? If you didn't upset him earlier, he probably wouldn't have done something so stupid. Are you even hearing yourself? You're totally enabling his behavior. Chad is a monster, and he's going to keep getting worse if you keep giving him everything. I don't know what's going on between you two boys, but this needs to end. You're right, Mom. This does need to end. Look at what just happened. He's being a spoiled brat, and he got into an accident. He needs to learn that you can't just keep giving him everything, and he needs to earn his own way of life. You don't know what it's like for me. Chad almost died when he was a baby. Every time I look at him, that's that's all I think about. And then I find out he gets in an accident? It is just too much for me to handle. Then this needs to stop, Mom. I just do whatever I can to make your brother happy. That's all. Yeah, well, what about me? I'm your son, too. You're going to be fine, Noah. I'm not fine. Tomorrow is a big day for me, and I don't want any of this distraction. Where do you think you're going? Away from all of this. Mom, Mom I want ice cream. Oh, this is it, the big day. The mentorship program starts just behind that door. And that'll help me become a doctor even faster. Oh, man, this is so much. It's fine, Noah. Shake it off. Hello, Noah. Oh, hi. Please come inside. Th thank you so much for the opportunity. Oh, it's no problem. I'm Professor Stevens. I have to say I'm very impressed with you. R really? Of course. Looking over your records, all your recommendations. I'm going to accept you into the medical program. Oh, no way. That's so awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's no problem. I look forward to working with you. Now you can enjoy the rest of your day and tell your family the big news. I will. Mom. Mom. I'm in here. 
Mom, Mom, I got accepted into the mentorship program. Oh, great. Mom, what's your problem? No way. This isn't fair. I wanted to go to that mentorship thingy. Well, you didn't earn it, so I'm going. You can't go. I what? Yeah, it's no fair if you get to go and I can't. Mom, are you serious? You're going to jeopardize my future like this? This is a huge opportunity and I work so I hard for work it. I work so hard to make good grades. No one cares. Shut up with your stupid mouth. You are literally the worst person in the world. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Look what you just did. You just upset your brother. I don't care. I'm sick of you and him. You know what, Mom? I hope you're ashamed of what you're doing. Excuse me? I'm never going to forget this. Noah, please understand. You just leave me alone. Noah! Logan, you're not going to believe it. I got into my top choice medical school. I'm doing it. I'm really going to college, dude. Oh, no way. I'm so happy for you, man. We only have a little bit left. This senior year is going to be awesome. I just wish I got into that mentorship program. I would have at least been a step ahead of where I'm at now. After all these years, I'm surprised you didn't get to go. Yeah, I know. Me too. Some things got in the way. Help! Help! Somebody's chasing me! Ah. Oh, being so mean for no reason! Hey, Wally, leave my brother alone! No, I'm not gonna leave him alone. This loser stole $100 out of my locker! He did what? Chad, did you really steal his money? Yes, of course I did! That's $100! It should belong to me! I need that money! <sighs> Un- Believable. You can't just steal people's money and not expect them to react. It doesn't belong to you. How am I supposed to buy things without money? It's not fair. You make your own money, Chad, and then I'm not even going to have this conversation with you. Oh, but I'll have this conversation. You're going to learn your lesson, loser. What? No, leave me alone. I didn't do anything. Man, I aced that chemistry exam. I'm going to finish school with good grades. I just know it. Hey, mom, I'm home. You have some nerve, young man. What? What did I do now? You know exactly what you did. Your brother got in trouble at school today, and you did nothing about it. Do you even know the real reason why he got in trouble? He stole money from someone's locker, Mom. This is why you need to protect your brother. Protect him? No. I'm not going to keep protecting him and babying him. He needs to learn there are repercussions for his actions. No, you don't sound like a very good brother right now. Yeah, well, Chad's not a good brother either. All he does is whine and complain and take whatever he wants. He is so spoiled, Mom. You just don't get it. Oh, no. Trust me, Mom. I get it. And I know you're just going to enable him forever. And he's never going to be able to stand on his own two feet. Ugh, Noah, I'm sick of having this argument all the time. You know what, Noah? You just... <laughs> <coughs> you need to... Um. Mom? Mom, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. I just have been feeling a little weird lately. I think I need to lay down. Are you sure? Do you need me to get you anything? No, just go spend time with your brother and please try to get along. <coughs> fine. Oh, man, I love the mall so much. There's so many things to buy. Yeah, well, it's hard to buy stuff when you've got no money. Ew, you don't have money? No, I don't. I'm broke because I haven't been able to work as many hours as normal. I've been focusing on school and... <laughs> oh, that figures. You're still focusing on school like a nerd. Why don't you just have mom buy you stuff and give you money? Because I work for my money, Chad. Plus, mom would never do that. She's too busy giving all her money to you. Yeah, because she knows that I'm the good son. And I can get whatever I want when I want it. Wow. You just have a really terrible attitude, dude. Oh, I do, huh? I'll show you. Hmm, what do I want in here? I'll be taking this. See? Look how easy it is to get what you want. Now let's go home. I want to give this to Mom. Are you joking? You're going to put that back right now. No way! She's going to love this. She's not going to love it once she knows that you stole it. She won't know if I get there first. Uh, get back here! You can't catch me, no! Oh. Hey, why don't you watch where you're walking, young man? Oh, uh, I'm sorry? Well, you fit the description of someone that just stole from the jewelry store. You're the thief. What? No, I'm not the thief. I'm innocent. Noah, please help me. You're under me. arrest now. Now. Wait, officer, please. Please, don't take my brother. He's just stupid, okay? It was a mistake. Sorry, I can't let this go. Shoplifting is a serious, serious crime. I mean, this is the fifth time we've caught you, isn't it, Chad? He knows you by name? Okay, I might have come by here a couple times, and I might have stolen a couple stuff. <sighs> Unbelievable. All right, come on, Chad. You know the drill. Oh, come on, Ted. We know each other. Give me a break. Oh. Shut up. Let's go.
<sighs> Noah, I can't believe you would let your brother steal from a jewelry store. I didn't let him do anything, Mom. He did it all on his own. He committed that crime, and he had no remorse for it. You know he got caught like five times stealing from that mall before? Shouldn't you be more concerned, Mom? I am concerned. I've been there all of those times. Well, I guess he's not going to learn his lesson. I tried to help him, Mom. I really did. But after all these years, it's impossible. Once I go to school, I'm not going to be there to come to his rescue every time. Y you could stay home with us. Absolutely not. You already took one opportunity for me. I'm not going to ruin my future because of my stupid, spoiled brother. I'm going to college, and I'm out of here. Noah, please. <coughs> Mom, are you okay? It doesn't seem like you're getting any better. <coughs> yes, I'm fine. I just feel a little weird. <coughs> That's all. Yeah, are you sure? I'm starting to get nervous. Please, Noah, I'm fine. I'm gonna go back inside and check on your brother. You know, Logan is my best friend and I love him, but oh, come on, man. We were supposed to go check out the college campus together. Oh, that's not him. Just mom and Chad. Hey, Noah! What, Chad? I can't believe you didn't take the blame for me back there. What kind of a brother are you? You honestly thought I was gonna take the blame for you stealing? Dude, there's something wrong with you. Oh, that was for mom. I was doing a good thing. You're just being a pretentious jerk who thinks he's better than everyone else. All right, boys, that's enough. Stop fighting. No, it's not fair. He needs to make up for this. I got put in prison. For one night. Dude, just get over it. And you weren't even in prison. You were just at the police station. It was really cold and they didn't even give me really good food. Give me your wallet. Hey, back off. Oh. You know, the world doesn't just work like that, Chad. If you want something, you earn it. This is my wallet and my money, not yours. Boys, I've had enough of this. Chad, come inside. I'll give you some money so you can go shopping and make yourself feel better. I'm so tired of this. You know what, Mom? I'm going to stay at Logan's tonight. In fact, I'm going to stay at Logan's from now on. Noah, don't be like that. I can't stand being around this. And I can't stand being around him. Dude, this is so cool. Did you check out the food at the cafeteria? It looks like actual food. Oh, no kidding. I stole some bread rolls while we were there. Dude, what? They're really good, man. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm sorry, but before complaining the whole drive up here about my stupid brother. Oh, dude, don't sweat it. Everything is going to be fine now. You're going to graduate, man, and become a doctor. We both are, dude. And I'm so happy that we're both going to the same school. Hold on a second. It's a call from Chad. <sighs> what, Chad? What do you want? No, I need your help. Mom passed out. She's in the hospital. Seriously? Is she okay? Are you at the hospital right now? What? No, I didn't feel like going to the hospital. It's scary. Chad, grow up, okay? And do the right thing for once. If mom is in the hospital, she needs us there. Go to the hospital now. No. I'm yeah, well, so am I. Get to the hospital. <sighs> Logan, I'm sorry. We have to go back right now. My mom's in the hospital. Noah, so happy to see you. I, I came as soon as I could. I'm sorry I was so far away. Are you okay? They're, they're not sure. Um, they're running some more tests, but honestly, it doesn't sound so good. Hello, Kelly. How are you doing? Oh, hi, doctor. I'm doing a lot better. My son's here. Oh, well, that's good. But unfortunately, I have some bad news. What's the problem, doctor? There's no easy way to say this, but your mother has a rare form of cancer. She only has a few weeks left to live. What? No, that's 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 impossible. That I'll give you a minute to talk about it with her. What? What a form of cancer? What is... I can't lose you. Oh, Noah, everything's gonna be okay, all right? I'm very sorry. You're sorry? What are you, what are you sorry for? You were right about everything, and I didn't say it enough, but I'm very, very proud of you. And I always knew that you were so strong. That's why I gave all the attention to Chad, who is not. <laughs> I'm so sorry about everything, the way I've been acting and how I've been fighting with Chad, and this isn't fair. I just hope that you turn into the person that I always knew you would be. Can you forgive me? Can I forgive you? Mom, of course I can forgive you. I love you with all my heart. And I love you so much, Noah. When I get older, I'm gonna buy a G-Wagon. G-Wagon? That's pretty cool, but when I get rich, I'm gonna have a Tesla. Hey, Chad, 
Oh, you know this guy? Uh, yeah, he's my brother. What is it, Noah? I've been trying to get a hold of you, trying to call you and text you, and I know you always have your phone on you. What is wrong with you? Have you ever thought that maybe I'm busy and I don't have time to text and call all the time? I'm with my friends, Noah. You're busy. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry that you're busy. You know that mom's in the hospital dying? Oh, stop being so dramatic. She's gonna be just fine. No, she isn't. The doctor told me she has a rare form of cancer and she doesn't have a lot of time left. This is serious, Chad. It's not a joke. No, no, this can't happen. Who's supposed to buy me stuff? Who's gonna take care of me? All you can think of is yourself right now? Hey, this does affect me. You are literally the most selfish person in the entire world, Chad. Mom wasted so much of her time and money and everything trying to make your life great and happy. And you're being so disrespectful. You can't even be at the hospital with her right now. I'm ashamed to call you my brother. I'm ashamed to call you my brother. I'm great the way I am, Noah. You know what? Once mom's gone, you're on your own. I'm going off to medical school. And that means I can't take care of you the way mom did. How are you gonna take care of yourself? You don't even know how to go food shopping on your own. It doesn't matter. I'll just pay somebody to buy me food. I'm gonna be rich. Oh yeah, how? With what job? You don't have any. Oh, just shut up, Noah. But I do need some money, actually. Do you have any? Unbelievable. Find a way to make some yourself because you're gonna need it real soon, Chad. You know, Logan, it was actually a great idea to come have lunch outside today. I really could use the fresh air. Being in school is really kind of getting to me. Oh, no, I understand, dude. You're worried about your mom, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. Well, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna graduate soon. You're gonna go to one of the best colleges in the state. I know, I can't wait. Right here on this field, we're gonna graduate. I really hope my mom can be there for it. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, Noah. Thanks, man. It's okay. Oh, by the way, uh, does she know your brother got kicked out of school? No, she doesn't. I mean, with everything going on at the hospital and Chad not telling her the truth, she has no idea. Whoa. Yeah, well, he's gonna make his own choices. He's never gonna have a chance to graduate. I don't really know what he's gonna do for a job or... Oh, hold on a second. It's the doctor. Hello, uh, Dr. Clementine. Is everything okay? Noah, I have some unfortunate news. Your mother has passed away. Oh. Um, thanks. Uh, what was that about, dude? My mom, she's, she's gone, Logan. Oh, Noah. No, <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> I'm really sorry, mom. This is the worst day of my life. I can't believe she's gone. I miss her a lot. You know, she made me promise that you and I would get along and we'd start acting like brothers. I'm really sad that we didn't get to do that while she was here. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know what I'm going to do now. I guess you'll be the one paying my bills and stuff? No, I'm not. What? Mom said you'd take care of me. You'll be fine for a while. The lawyer read Mom's will and we each got $50,000. You should be fine until you get yourself a job and maybe a place to stay. Oh, that money? I already spent it. You, you spent it? Chad, how could you spend $50,000 that quickly? We only got it a couple of days ago. Well, I needed a way to get around town, so I bought a Tesla. You bought a Tesla? Yeah, no, I'm just out of money. Just give me some of yours, okay? And stop yelling. People are looking at us. I don't care. I'm so sick of you. You are spoiled and pathetic. I'm not spoiled. I'm not pathetic. Give me the money. You are the worst. Literally, you're the worst. I'm going to medical school and I'm going to become a doctor. After today, I never want to see you again. Good luck with your life, Chad. I hope you figure it out soon. No, I'm not nervous. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Logan, I'm totally nervous. Dude, this is my wedding day. I still can't believe this is actually happening. I still can't believe you're getting married to Sophie. She's like the prettiest girl on the planet. Hey, man, that's gonna be my wife. Hey, all respect. I'm happy for you, man. Well, thanks. I couldn't do this without you. I'm glad you're my best man, and she's really the love of my life, dude. And she laughs at all your stupid jokes. You know, after we finished school, things have been starting to look pretty good. I still can't believe we got a job at the same hospital. Yeah, man, our lives are really starting to work out. I can't believe I didn't get invited to this stupid wedding. Noah, it's not cool. Why did you invite me to your wedding, man? You weren't invited, Chad, because I didn't want you here. It's not cool to just show up and crash the wedding, dude. I'm your only brother. We're the only family we have left. You haven't acted like my brother in years, Chad. I don't want you here. You're going to ruin everything. No, 
I'm not. It's not fair. Nobody wants to marry me. I'm way better looking than you are. Seriously? Exactly. How come you get everything and I get nothing? Stop, Chad. We're grown-ups now. I still can't believe after all these years you're acting so spoiled. Excuse me, Noah. Is everything okay over here? No, sir, it's not okay. I need this man removed from my wedding immediately. Yes, sir. Come with me. What? No, I didn't even get to have cake. Leave me alone. My first day of being an actual doctor. No more internship, nothing. And I think that's my boss. Hey, Dr. Gable. No time to talk, Noah. You better get moving. We've got a patient and thought too, it's so good. We're starting to lose him. No, no, we're not. What do you mean we're not? He's flatlining. Three, two, one, clear. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what happened? We thought we almost lost you there for a minute, Terry. Glad you're back. And you can thank Dr. Henderson for that. Oh, really? Thank you, Dr. Henderson. Just doing the job. You know, Noah, you're going to be pretty good at this. I mean, your first day, you're already saving lives. Definitely isn't what I thought my first day would be like, but we're here now. I'm going to be your boss from here on out, and I'm happy to know you know what you're doing. You should see some of these idiots coming in here, fresh out of medical school. They don't know the difference from a stethoscope to a scalpel. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, don't thank me yet. Your shift has just started. You got another, oh, 18 hours left to go? I hope you're ready for it. Huh, more than ever. Being a doctor is not easy, but I'm really glad I made it. It just feels good to be- What? Chad? Oh, hey, no. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to see me? Chad, what are you doing in my house? Did you break in? What? No, not really. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Yeah, right. You don't actually care. Let me guess. You need some money, don't you? Well, from the looks of it, you seem to have a lot. Not really. I'm still working on paying off my student loans. If you actually went to college, you'd know that. Well, some of us didn't have the privilege to go to college, Noah. I'm sorry. You had all the opportunity in the world, Chad, and you didn't take it. That's your own fault. Well, Noah, right now, I'm broke, and I need some help. I've loaned you money constantly, and you said you were working on getting a job. Well, I had to balance out the time of getting a job and buying more stuff. You haven't even paid me back a dime for what I've borrowed you, and you said you'd pay me back. Well, I haven't had time to pay you back. I've been busy trying to find a job. Seriously, Chad, I doubt you're putting in any effort. Don't say that. Of course I am. Oh, you just don't get me. As usual, Noah. Please, I just need some money to get by. Well, you're gonna get by on your own. Get out of my house. Uh, fine. I wish I was a single brother. I didn't think being a doctor was gonna really be this much work. We're here all the time. Yeah, I know, man, this is wild. I'm so tired, I've helped so many people. Yeah, but that's the name of the game, right? We work hard, we save lives, that's what we do. You've been working hard a lot. Too bad about your mom's old house. What are you talking about? You didn't hear, dude? The house is, like, destroyed, dude. The bank is taking it. It's destroyed? What are you even talking about, Logan? Yeah, man, it's in complete shambles. I think they're going to knock it down. Knock it down? But how is that possible? Oh, you know, my mom works at the bank, dude. Chad hasn't been making any payments to them. They got tired of waiting on his payments, and they took the house back. That is my mom's house. She worked so hard to pay for it, and this is how he treats it? I can't believe how disrespectful he is. I'm going to go talk to him after this shift is over. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe you should calm down. Sorry, Logan. I'm not calm about this. Look at this place. It's an absolute mess. I haven't been back here since mom died. I know our relationship was really hard, but seeing this place like this just breaks my heart. She'd be so upset right now. Can't believe he would let the house get like this. Chad, I know you're home. Get out here. What? Noah? Oh, good. Hey, can you pay the bank guy so I can keep living here? When are you going to learn, Chad? The world doesn't owe you anything. I have no obligation to just throw money at you. Yeah, you do. You're my brother, and I'm facing hard times. I deserve to live in this house. Why? Why do you deserve to live in this house, Chad? Because. Just because isn't a good enough answer, Chad. Truth be told, there is no answer. Yeah, well, if they take the house, what's going to happen to me? Like I've told you for years now, you can get a job and work hard like everybody else. You're just another selfish rich person, Noah, that doesn't want to share his own money. You know, I came by here to try and talk some sense into you, but clearly it's not going to work. You know what? We're done here, Chad. Deal with your own life. What? Get back here. Give me money. I just can't believe him, Sophie. After all this time, he still hasn't changed at all. Uh, it's just so frustrating! Noah, please, calm down. It'll all be okay. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. I just... I just wish my brother would do the right thing for once, you know? Secretly, deep down, 
still care about him somehow. I know, sweetie. You just can't control what your brother does. He needs to focus on his own future. You're right. Of course, as usual. Maybe you should try and come at the relationship not at a place of anger and hurt, but maybe just try to understand. Trust me, I want to. I want to more than anything. I've tried to understand him, but I just get so upset. All that pain he caused me all those years. I know, he did some terrible things. Well, maybe I should just have a conversation. Try to talk to him about it or something. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna go to work. I gotta keep my mind off of this. I love you. I love you too. Now don't be late, come on, get going. All right, what do I have next? Looks like, what the, is that Chad? What are you doing here? Why do you care? Because my brother's here in the hospital on crutches and he's hurt. What happened, Chad? Well, some people from the bank came by the house and they tried taking it. So I tried to stop them and I fell. You fell? Uh, then I tried to find a place to sleep and someone knocked me out. And then I woke up and all my money was stolen. Even busted my leg up more. Ugh. Hold on a second, let me look at your chart. Uh, just seems like you've got a sprained ankle. You'll be okay. I'm not gonna be okay. I'm gonna have to sleep outside with a busted up leg. No, you're not. I don't want you to do that. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Look, we need to start acting more like brothers, okay? This is just getting ridiculous and out of hand, and I'm really sick of fighting with you. What are you saying? So you lost mom's house. Big deal. It's just a house, that's all. And I'm not gonna let you live on the streets, Chad. Why don't you just come and stay with me and Sophie for a bit? At least until your leg heals up. You really mean it? This isn't a handout, okay? I just wanna make sure you're okay and your leg heals properly. That's all it is. Of course, uh, that would be great. Thanks, Noah. Yeah, don't mention it. You feeling better, Chad? Actually, a lot better, thank you. Well, that's good. Now, Sophie and I are going on vacation, okay? We're only gonna be gone for a couple days. You can just chill here. Don't do anything crazy, okay? Oh, yeah, I got it. No problem. You can have whatever food you want in the fridge and start looking for that job we talked about, all right? We mean it, Chad. We have to start making some actual progress. I will, I will, I promise. Thank you so much, Noah. This is unbelievable. I'm really happy that, that you're my brother. Yeah, I am too. Just please do the right thing, Chad. Please, for once. Do the right thing. Come on, honey, we gotta get going. Call or text us if you need us. Do the right thing? Who does this guy think he is? Look at this place. He has a great car, a great wife, loads of cash. That's not fair. This should all belong to me. I'm not a spoiled brat. I'm not a child. You know what? I'm taking what I deserve. I'm taking everything. You know, Sophie, I think that was the best vacation we've ever been on. Oh my gosh. Where's our stuff? Where, where's our things? This couldn't be your brother, could it? Of course it was Chad. It had to have been. I'm giving him a call right now. Hi, it's Chad. I'm way too important to talk to you right now, so leave a message after the beep. Bye. Oh, I cannot believe this. I tried to do the right thing. I welcomed him into our home. And this is how he treats me? Oh, I should have never trusted him in the first place. Uh, Noah, what are you doing? Hello, officer, yes. I'd like to report a robbery. Here you go, here's all the stuff I promised you. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Flat screen TVs, Mac computers. Here you go, Chad. The money, just like I promised. Oh, sweet, yes! I'm filthy rich now! Uh, no, you're not, idiot! Freeze, bozos! There he is, officer, right there! Yeah, I've got eyes! I can see! Oh, uh, no, it's Finkleberry! Oh, I gotta get out of here! Yeah, whatever, I'll catch you later, Ted! It looks like you've got nowhere to run now. <laughs> no, what is the meaning of this? You robbed me, Chad! You really think you were gonna get away with it? You're under arrest, you dumb idiot! What? Oh, no, please! I don't wanna go to jail! Sorry, Chad. Maybe next time you won't act so spoiled.